Zone and sectors are important in permaculture design. Zone and sector analysis uses a master pattern to design landscapes with a focus on energy conservation. Components that require more energy and time are positioned closer to the house. Sectors are site specific. They are related to the movement of elements like wind, sun, light, rain, fire and water flow. These are referred to as the wild energies. These energies are generated outside the system and pass through it. A sector analysis reveals the compass directions from which these energy flows are expected. The entire site can then be designed to minimise or maximise their impact. Zones refer to the way a space is divided up and how different components are positioned on the site. Components like plants, animals and buildings are placed inside the zones. Their positions depend on their yields, functions and maintenance requirements. The idea is to place components so that space, available nutrients and energies are used efficiently with minimal inputs. In an ideal situation, the zones are visualised as a series of concentric circles. The most visited zones are the innermost zones. These zones require the most time and energy input. To manage them easier, they are located closest to the home or farm. Zone zero includes structures like houses, sheds and greenhouses. Zone one might include the home kitchen garden as it is a high yielding, intensively cultivated area. Zone two is less intensively managed than zone one. It could include an orchard area that contains lots of grafted plants that require some cultivation. It may be visited daily to collect fruit. Zone 3 requires less maintenance than zones 1 and 2. The plant species can include main crops and low maintenance trees. A foraging system can be designed to support the animals. This may be a large-scale organic orchard, a nut forest, or organic poultry system. Zone 4 is a longer-term development. It has trees and will eventually resemble woodland. The species planted here are harvested on a sustainable basis. Larger animals such as cattle, deer, and pigs can be kept at low stocking rates. Zone 5 is the conservation zone, which protects soils, water, air and the indigenous plants of the region. It functions as a wildlife reserve and regrowth area. Zones are conceptualised. It should be remembered that every site is different. Zones are designed according to the personal needs and the land's natural characteristics. The idea is to develop the nearest zone first and expand outwards to the perimeter. For components to be positioned well in a system, both the zone and sector energies must be optimal. Every component should be placed so that it serves two or more functions. Every function is served in two or more ways. For example, a pine tree is not visited often, so it can go into zone 4. It can also go in the sector away from fire danger since it burns readily, and towards a cold wind because it makes a good windbreak. The tree may provide shelter for animals as well as nuts for forage. Zone 5 